Problem 2-1 says if theta equals 60 degrees and F equals 450 newtons, determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So let's start off by redrawing the diagram given. So this force is 700 newtons and this second force is set to be 450 newtons. And I'll go ahead and call this F1 and this F2. And since we're trying to find the resultant force of these two forces, we're going to be using vector addition. So FR is going to be the vector sum of F1 plus F2. And again, since forces are vectors, this is vector addition. And I'm just going to add in the angles for the forces. So that is theta, which is 60 degrees. And this over here is 15. And now to perform this vector addition, we can go ahead and simply use the triangle law. So I'm going to start off with F1. And then adding F2. That's going to start from the head of F1. And it remains in the same direction as in the diagram. And now for the resultant force FR. It starts from the head of F2 and it joins the tail of F1, just like that. And now for the angles, we know that this is going to be 60 degrees, that's measured from the x-axis. And underneath that, the direction of F1 is known to be 15 degrees. And these are both alternate interior angles. And since it's getting a little cluttered, I'm just going to redraw the diagram. And here the triangle comes out more clear. And now to help us find FR, we want to know what this angle is. And simply looking at the previous diagram, we know that this angle will be equal to 60 minus the 15 degrees. So that is going to be 45 degrees. And here we can say that 700 is length 1 and 450 is length 2. So hence, we know two sides or lengths of this triangle plus one angle. And therefore we can simply apply the cosine law to find FR. And in this case, FR will equal the square root of 700 squared plus the 450 squared minus 2 times 700 times 450 times the cosine of 45 degrees. And note that the 45 degrees is across FR, so that's why we can use it here. Using a calculator, this comes out to be 497. So therefore, the magnitude of the resultant force equals 497 newtons. And now we are asked to find the direction of this resultant force. And again, it's measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So here on the diagram, this is our positive x-axis. And over here is the negative since it's to the left of y. So to visualize the angle we're trying to find, again, this is our positive x-axis. And now since we want to find the angle that is measured counterclockwise, we know that this is clockwise and this is counterclockwise. So our angle is going to look something like this. And I'm just going to call that angle phi. And now what can we do to proceed in finding that direction? Well, one thing we can do is try to find what this angle between the 700 newton force and FR is. Now in order to find that angle, we can go ahead and use the sine law. And before proceeding, I'm just going to go ahead and call that angle alpha. So from the sine law, this is going to be sine alpha over the length across from alpha, which is 450. And that equals sine of 45 degrees over 
the length across from it, which in this case is FR. And so isolating uh, sine alpha, we move the 450 to the other side of the equation. And solving for alpha, we are going to get the inverse sine of the right side. So the right side equals 0 0.6402. And now just plugging that into the equation. Using a calculator, we get alpha equals 39.8 degrees. So this angle is 39.8 degrees. And now in order to find the angle phi, we can go ahead and reference the drawing from earlier. So this again is 39.8 degrees. And now we know that this smaller angle is 15. So hence, to find the angle on top of the 15 degrees, this is simply going to be 39.8 minus the 15 degrees. And that equals 24.8 degrees. And now we know that this angle is going to be 180 degrees across the x-axis. So I'm just going to redraw that section from the triangle. This is our positive x-axis. And now the angle phi measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. And over here, the 24.8 degrees we found. And therefore, phi equals the 180 degrees along the x-axis minus that 24.8 degrees which is equal to about 155.2 so hence phi will be equal to about 155 degrees which is the direction of the resultant force fr measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis